Guys, Prime here from Niche Advice. I'm an independent mortgage broker, and in these series of sort of uh, videos, I talk and, and I try to answer some of the main buy to let questions. Another buy to let question that I get often is, I get uh, clients phoning me up and saying, uh, we want to, we own these properties, or we own a property, and we now want to transfer it into a limited company because we've heard that it may be advantageous from a tax perspective. Can you do it? Um, the question is, yes, I mean, to answer it, yes, we've got a number of lenders that will allow you to transfer personal assets um, into limited companies and the way, you know, the deposits transferred, the, 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 the equities transferred, so you don't have to put any money down. So that's the straightforward answer. However, this, the, answer is the, the answer to this, really, if you're going to answer it, is more complicated because a lot of these people are not aware that there are tax implications when you transfer assets from your personal name into a limited company. Now that could be capital gains tax if it's, a, um, if it's an investment property currently. It could be stamp duty um, because you're transferring uh, one asset into another entity which is a limited company. So, and, and it really depends on the structure and how that's done. It really depends on your profile. Are you doing one? Are you doing 15 properties? Um, so the first starting point is not speaking to me. The first starting point is speaking to a tax advisor. The second starting point is not speaking to me. The second starting point is speaking to a, um, a, a solicitor or a conveyancer who will, who's qualified to advise you on things like this. Okay. So once you've done those two and you know your structure, you know your tax liability, and you, you know you're confident that this is the right move, going forward because of your long-term plans then you come to me and you say look this is what i want to do i've sought ta tax advice and this is why i'm doing it because you know sometimes people say look i want to transfer this because right now it's let's just say it's worth three hundred thousand pounds okay i want to transfer this asset while i own it in personal names because i then want to develop this land or this building and i want to convert it into xyz and it's going to be worth a million pounds so i would rather make the transfer now rather than do it later on because i've spoken to my tax advisor and he believes that this is the right strategy and i've you know i've investigated myself from a legal perspective and i think this is the right thing then no problem we can we've got various lenders that will help help you around this but this is quite a complicated uh, subject and really what you need to do is speak to the various professionals and then make your own mind up you know speak to the advisor tax advisor speak to the conveyor speak to myself and then formulate a plan so hopefully you found this useful and if you are in a position that you're looking to do to, to do this once you've done the other two get in touch with me the content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker. As a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.